imagine you have two lists, very, very, very long lists with names and emails on them. And what you want to do is that you want to find all the duplicates. So the emails and the names on list one and on list two, and then you want to put them in another list. So in this video, I'll show you how to do that, create a macro using ChatGPT for Excel to identify these duplicates. If you like that, remember to give the video a like and subscribe to our channel. So to simplify where we come from is I have two sheets here. So I have sheet one and I have sheet two. I have some email addresses and names in sheet one and I have some in sheet two. And what I'm going to show you is how we use ChatGPT to make a new sheet called duplicates. And then we have all the duplicate name and email addresses from sheet one and sheet two. So where we start is that we go to ChatGPT. Then we put in a command or question that says create an Excel macro that compares data from sheet one and sheet two. So first we open up with saying we want a macro and we want it to compare the data from sheet one and sheet two. Second part and create a new sheet. So we ask it to create a new sheet with all columns of identified duplicates between sheet one and sheet two. Then ChatGPT creates that force. So we will go up and we will copy this code. There are some instructions in ChatGPT on how to proceed from here. If this is the first time you're using these visual basic tools, I'll show you how to make that work too. So what we need to do there to put this code into Excel is that we need to first go to the top left and click file. And then we need to go to the bottom left part and click option that opens the options for Excel. In Excel on the left side, there's an uh, option to change or customize the ribbon. So we'll find that which opens this image. Then on the top, we'll choose commands from main tabs. Then we go down and we find the developer tab and we will click add or drag it over to the ribbon. And then lastly, we click OK. So what this does is that we will get a new thing we can click in the top. So usually we have file, home, insert, page layout, and now we have a new one called developer. So we'll click the developer one. We don't need to do all this option thing if we want to do this another time. It's only like a one time thing. So click developer and then there's an option to go into Visual Basic. It can look a little bit confusing. Just do what I'm saying. So Visual Basic opens and we'll find the insert option and then we'll click on module. It will then open a white empty sheet like this one. And this is where we will post and paste the code from chat TPT. Then we'll close this again. So and then we will go developer and then click macro. And then we have an option with macro to compare sheets. And we'll pick that one and click run. When we do that, then we'll create a new sheet called duplicates. And voila, we have all the duplicate items from sheet one and sheet two. If we then in the future want to do this again, so we have two new lists, we paste them into a spreadsheet and we want to do this again, then we simply just go up, click the macro, pick the module and click run, and then we'll get the duplicate. So the next time we want to perform this task, it only takes a few seconds and we can still, we can adjust and manipulate the code, the thing we asked for ChatGPT for to create all kinds of macros. So you think that's awesome. Remember to give the video a like. If you want to join our free webinar, it's available at thesigway.com. There's a link to it in the description too. Else, what do you think? Write it in the comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.